Where does the traveler find himself? What problem does he face? Answer The traveler finds himself at a fork in a wooded path and faces the problem of choosing between two equally viable paths. He is unsure which path to take. Discuss what these phrases mean to you. A yellow wood. Answer Yellow wood refers to a forest in autumn with leaves turning yellow, symbolizing a time of change or transition. It was grassy and wanted wear. It describes the road that looks less traveled with grass growing on it, suggesting it has not been used much. The passing there it refers to the act of walking along the road and considering its condition and choice. Leaves no step had trodden black. It indicates that the road has not been walked on recently as no footprints have turned the leaves dark. How way leads on to way. It suggests that one decision leads to another, creating a continuous path of choices and consequences. Is there any difference between the two roads as the poet describes them? In stanzas 2 and 3. Answer. In stanzas 2 and 3, the two roads are described as nearly identical. Both are equally grassy and not heavily worn, making the choice seem quite similar. In the last two lines of the poem, in the last two lines, the poet reflects on how the road he chose will make all the difference in his life, suggesting that the decision, though initially seeming minor, has profound and unique consequences. What do you think the last two lines of the poem mean? Looking back, does the poet regret his choice or accept it? Answer: In the last two lines of the poem, the poet seems to accept his choice and its impact on his life. He reflects on how choosing one path over another has made a difference but he doesn't clearly express regret. Have you ever had to make a difficult choice? Or do you think you will have difficult choices to make? How will you make the choice? For what reasons? Answer. No, I have not had to make any difficult choice till now in my life. But I think in future, I will have difficult choices to make in my academic and professional career. I will make this decision on the basis of my interests and capabilities. After you have made a choice, do you always think about what might have been? Or do you accept the reality? Answer. After making a choice, I don't think about what might have been and I focus on accepting the reality and making the best of the decision I have made.